Guys, it doesn't happen often. I try not to do bad reviews, but I am not saying this is a bad review. I'm just a little bit disappointed in this mini critical. Uh, I think it's just uh, some design issues that are at play here, but we're gonna turn this around, take a look at it from above, and you'll see why I'm just a little disappointed in this one. So you guys heard me talk in the intro and you saw the title. As much as this is a cool, cool knife and there's a lot of really good things about it, I am overall disappointed. But we're going to talk about some of the good stuff. First of all, here is a spec sheet for this. This is the Mini Critical by Kaiser. And it's got a lot of cool things going for it. It is a very well done, very well built, very attractive folding Warren Cliff um, thumb stud operated knife. Um, it's done in 154 cm, as you saw on the spec sheet. And it's in a very well done Warren Cliff with a lot of really good features. You've got this beautiful micarta handle, well finished blade that is done with like three different uh, facets, all in a satin. The thumb studs on it are in a very, very good position. And it has a very smooth action, as you would expect from any Kaiser. Backspacer and hardware are all done red and black. You've got your body screws in black, your pivot screw in black, and you have this beautiful pivot and backspacer in red, along with this really good, very comfortable deep carry pocket clip that I found very easy to carry and useful, and it carries nicely in the pocket. Um, you can carry it in the forward part of the pocket. As you can see, I did carry it a lot. You can see I've already stained up the micarta. Um, it is in a liner lock that has had a bit, a good bit of weight reduction done on it. And like I said, action is amazing. And on top of everything, it has a very attractive look to it. I find that it reminds me of a cuttlefish. Um, very, very keen edge on this. As you can see, I've resharpened this. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, but all in all, it is a very good looking knife. And for most, most people, this will probably be a very decent everyday carry. Now, I did take a long time to finally get to the re full, full review of this knife. If you remember, it took a while. And that's because overall, I'm really disappointed in what I got in this knife. And it's nothing against Mojave knives. It's nothing against Kaiser. I don't think it's a heat treat issue. I'm going to talk about it. So let's flip this around and I'll tell you about the laundry list of problems I've had with this knife. Right after you guys hear from this channel's sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. Nice. You guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that, that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout or or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. So I was really excited when I got this knife. I was excited by, you know, the overall look and how attractive it is. It's comfortable in hand. Uh, it just feels really good. It's nicely balanced and things like that. But once I started to carry it and use it, I started to run into some problems. There's some weirdness with the lock. The lock just kind of like in use, I'm able to push in and it, it start, you can see it just, it starts to disengage. So in use, I start to get a little blade play. That's just me holding the knife. I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm moving my finger out of the way so you guys can. So it's very light. It's almost like it's not fully engaging with the lock. There's just a little touch and it breaks loose. I would expect a lot more contact surface um, and just that slightest little bit and you start to get some blade play, which is disturbing. And you can feel it when you bear down on a knife. You can feel that blade or that, that lock start to disengage. Now, I haven't taken it apart to try and retension the lock bar and see if maybe tightening that up would solve the problem. It's got a little bit of pocket clip play, not such a big deal. This was one of the first things I noticed that I wasn't big on. The big problem I have 
This does not cut well. I don't know 100%. I've resharpened it several times. I've laid the angle back. I've used different grits. It's currently at 1,000 grit, or I'm sorry, 600, 650 grit, and then on a strop to knock the burr off. It is very sharp. It is acutely sharp. It just does not want to cut. So when you're bearing down into cardboard, it just binds up and it just doesn't want to cut. Uh, just to give you a point of reference, this very similar little knife from... Um, uh, Firebird knives that you guys are going to see the first day in pockets on either, you know, here before too long, uh, absolutely screams through cardboard. So we've got similar blade stock thickness, similar blade shape. The only difference I'm seeing is the big thing that I think on this is the blade transition. It's very abrupt here. It's a very abrupt change in angle, which is striking, but I think that that's what's binding up. I think that this just does not have the cutting geometry that I want. It's not like it's not thin behind the edge, but no matter what I do and change the edge angle and sharpen it at different grits, this does not cut the way I want. And I'm really disappointed in it because you really have to bear down and it starts to become uncomfortable, even cutting cardboard, not just cutting wood. You know, we talk about cutting wood being that hot spot, finding hot spots. This, when you cut into thick cardboard or even just thinner cardboard, it wants to bind up and you're putting a lot more pressure. And that's how I noticed this issue. So all in all, I'm pretty disappointed with this. Now, it just is 100% that this design is not for me. It's nothing. It, there's not a heat treat issue with this. This is kind of an issue. And I'm going to tell you right now, we will have an update because I'm going to reach out to Kaiser about this and see how their warranty works. I've never had to reach out to Kaiser for warranty, but I don't know. That just feels like that lock does not engage properly. So I, I don't like doing bad reviews. And overall, it's not a bad review. It's still a very good, well-built knife and attractive. It just has that issue. And this is, I'm not knocking the entire line of mini critical. I'm just saying that mine personally has that. So we'll find out how the warranty goes um, I might talk to Mojave Knives because that's where this came from um, and let them know. But yeah, I mean, is it is it is it an issue with all of them? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you've had that issue with that lock being a little light. And uh, I know people have said, oh, Kaiser's heat treat. I've not had an issue with heat treat. Sharpening this, it definitely felt proper heat treat. The edge has held up very, very well. So we will check back in on the status of this once I figure out how it's going to get handled and everything like that. But for today, that's it on this video. Guys, let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. I'm not, I'm not saying it's a bad knife. I think that there might be a little issue with the lockup on this. I am going to try and tighten over, like strengthen over the lock bar and see if that rectifies just that soft lock bar. That's not that's not uncommon in some knives. It can happen. It makes it through QC. I'm just disappointed in the way it cuts. Um, it, it's it's not a heat treat issue. Uh, I think it's more of a blade geometry issue. So we'll see if I run into problems. I may have to reach out to Kaiser and see if me tight if me bending the lock bar over doesn't solve the problem. But I like to be honest. I not every knife on this channel gets a a glowing review. Uh, I don't just do all good reviews. I try not to do bad reviews as often, but I definitely do get knives in that I'm disappointed with. And sometimes there's a lot of times you guys will see an in pockets video for the first day in pockets and then just never see that knife again, uh, because I think that that it would be detrimental just based on my opinion a lot of times. And so sometimes it's just better to let other people do that. And then I can chime in and say, yeah, I kind of agree. And we can talk about it in live feed. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I put the cart before the horse. Guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, I talked about Coffee Brand Coffee. You saw a quick ad spot in there. Um, they are absolutely a great sponsor of this channel. They are going to run an ad for me. I'm going to film that later today. And they're going to edit and film it. They've been awesome about supporting the channel. Just go check them out. It doesn't cost anything to just check out the website. My link down below has a coupon code to save you 5% built into it. Or you can just go to their 
their website and put in a coupon code Crazy Sharp. All under cap, all one word, capital C, capital S. Crazy Sharp saves you five percent at checkout. That coupon code also works at my other sponsor, which is Tempered Trail. They are giving you the best laces for your hiking boots, your day to day wear boots. They're not going to break. They are great, great items. They got five hundred and fifty pound strength on them. Um, I also have an Amazon store down below. Anything you purchase with that uh, link down there, uh, the channel gets directly supported. I've built some ideas lists down there, but you can also just pin it to your browser as your main portal into Amazon, and uh, you can use it just like regular Amazon search items. I also have a membership. It's all tier-based. Everyone gets access to my Gilded server, which is just like Discord. It's amazing. We have a lot of fun. It's a community that's built around the world. Baseline and premium members... Uh, are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that I've built here on YouTube, accessible only to them. So guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. This is time for that now. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.